At the beginning of my journey, I had the chance to ask a composer, blech, composer producer I knew, um, what do you wish you learned earlier? And he said, learn marketing. But I had no idea what that meant for me as a composer. And everywhere I looked online, all the advice just seemed really vague and not helpful. So as a scientist, I thought to myself, let's research this and see if I can get this process to be replicated by as many people as possible. To do that, you gotta get really good at answering these three questions and telling this story every single time someone finds you online or meets you in person. Those questions are, who am I? What do I do? And why do I do this? Through all the interactions you've had with me online with my content or DMs, Zoom calls, whatever, you guys are constantly learning about who I am, what I do, and why I do it. Outside of just posting music, I share all sorts of things based on the experiences I've had, the struggles, and just my thoughts on what it's like to be a composer in today's industry. I also like to find problems that I don't see other composers solving, and that's closely related to my background in science. I believe that every single one of us has a unique set of skills, personality, and experiences that can all influence the answer to these questions. Okay, and now you're asking, okay, Cheska, but where do I start? And to that, I say, show your work, teach how you work, and be a goldfish. So showing your work is not hard. Almost every single one of us does this on our Instagrams. And, you know, keep, keep it up. Show the projects you've worked on, whether they're paid or just personal projects. Show those MIDI roles, show how you compose, show you playing instruments show behind the scenes, just basically whatever you're doing, keep it up. That's a third of the equation. The second part is to teach how you work. Now I know, I hear you saying, but Cheska, I'm not a teacher. Uh, teaching is not my thing. I'm not a good teacher. Well, here are some interesting things you need to think about. The best way to learn is to teach. If you can teach what you do, you really know your stuff and it will show to the filmmakers that come across your page. By teaching how you work, you can position yourself as an expert and show your client that you are the right person and that they can trust you. You can also show that your process is something that you can repeat over and over again. You understand how to begin a project and take it all the way to a final product that you can then deliver on time as expected to your client. This is something that will differentiate you from other people who appear to have great music, but when it comes down to delivering on the final product, they don't have the inspiration. Um, I think a lot of new film composers will feel that, oh, I'm not inspired by this movie. I it's very hard to separate your passion for music from what is asked of you as a film composer doing a job. So having a handle on your process allows you to create independent from inspiration. It allows you to perform again and again in a process that is repeatable and explainable to anyone that you might compose for. So this is going to help alleviate any uncertainty and help the client feel more comfortable with bringing you on into their project. Okay, and then the last part here is just to be a goldfish. If you've watched Ted Lasso, you know this scene where Ted Lasso, this football coach, talks to his team after a devastating loss and he asks them, what is the most happy animal on the planet? What is the happiest animal on the planet? And the answer is a goldfish. So they have a 10 second memory span and you just forget and you move on. So the lesson here is that 
when you are posting, marketing yourself, whatever, you will feel like, oh my gosh, this is so fake, oh, so cringy, this is gross, I, no one's responding to my uh, post or whatever. And to that, you just have to move on. As soon as you're done feeling bad, beating up yourself, you have to remember like, hey, this is normal. Everyone goes through this. This is how it is in the beginning. And as soon as you're done beating yourself up, you move on and forget about it. Be a goldfish. So what does this look like put into practice? Well, let me show you my Instagram. Most of these posts started as an experience I learned from that I thought could just help other composers and potential filmmakers that I would work with. Some of them help both, but for the most part, uh, these were just ideas that I researched, formed an opinion on, um, had experience with, and just threw out there. And as it turns out, you guys like this stuff, and the filmmakers that I've worked with actually find it really useful. Overall, I want you to think of this as just documenting your journey and learning as you go. Blech. I was gonna say grow, but then I changed my mind. You don't need to think of yourself as a teacher to market yourself or do something similar to what I'm doing. You don't even have to teach film scoring. I know a lot of people uh, think automatically, oh, teacher process, that means I have to uh, make music tutorials and So there are so many different things that you could teach. You could teach um, what it's like to be a composer um, working with local filmmakers. Maybe you're inspired by environmental causes and you want to document that journey and show what it's like to be a composer like that and talk about the different challenges and struggles that you have um, working in that part of the, the film industry, documentaries. Sorry, that was weird. Document documentaries, there you go. So there's just so many different things. Like maybe you have a lot of experience doing recording sessions and you went to music school, but you felt like there was something missing in your life and you felt like I achieved the dream. Why am I not happy? And you're interested in self-development, meditation, uh, personal growth or whatever. Like there's so many different little um, parts of the journey with problems that you could help with. So this ties again back to your three questions. Who are you? What do you do? Why do you do it? Maybe you're like me. I am a scientist and for a long time I have been caught in between um, what was ex expected of me from my parents, become a doctor, all of that, and then my, my passion for music. I've always spent a lot of my free time uh, writing music, reading books, researching, writing ideas. Um, I've always wanted to do YouTube videos and I just never did it. There was always something in my way. And so a lot of this part of my life has problems that a lot of other people face. And I am now able to help solve because I've made it to the other side in a way. So there are just so many different things that you could teach. It does not have to be music. Okay, and now you're probably wondering what is the impact of all of this and does it actually work? Well, uh, the directors that I've worked with, one of them, for example, said, Cheska, um, wow, I love that you care about teaching other new composers, young composers, um, how to start a career in, in um, film composing. And that's something he cares about too. He also cares about educating and passing on knowledge and sharing with other people. And so that was something we connected on and really helped us bond. Another thing that happened, I had a director come to me and say, hey, like you were a really easy choice for me. Um, I'm so glad we brought you onto this project. And I actually asked, why did you choose me? And he said that I was relatable. I put a face to my music and the work that I did. He saw immediately, hey, you are someone that I see myself working with. And number two, he saw all of the posts that I had created and he said, you really know your stuff. I feel comfortable going into this project with you. I feel like 
you're going to get the job done. And I was like, great. To most filmmakers you work with, if you are able to show them, hey, I got you, and you have great music, and they like you, you are gonna do great. Ooh. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got something out of it, please leave a like, subscribe. I will be posting videos every single week. Do I have anything else to say? Nope, okay, bye.